Hey there, Connor Kelly with Evolution Fitness and TransformForever.com. Today's workout tip is about how to get a lot more out of every single workout you do. You see, conventional wisdom says that if you're prescribed to do 15 repetitions of a given weight, you do your 15 repetitions and then you stop. However, when you consider that so much of creating change in your body has to do with asking your body to adapt to something new, usually in the form of something that it's not used to, then we understand that the further we can take it, the faster that we can create change. So today I want to talk about three set extenders that I use to enhance my workouts. The first one is called a static rep. Okay? So let's use the example of a shoulder press. In a shoulder press, you'd be doing repetitions like this until you've reached your full capacity. But now what I'd like you to consider is what if you did, you hit your 10 reps or the maximum number of reps you could do with good, rep, uh, good form, and then you decided to hold for time. This would create a little bit of extra tension that could further your results through this process. Now if I was to show you that example in a bicep curl, you'd be doing your regular reps like this, and then when you can no longer perform a repetition in good form, that's when you would do a holding static rep take it a little bit further and a little bit more tension on the muscle. Now example number two is using something called a negative, right? Now in the down portion or the opposite portion of the exertion phase of any movement, you are actually 30% stronger. So with the example of the shoulder press again, you are 30% stronger lowering the weight than you are pushing the weight back up. So when you've completed as many repetitions as you can pushing the weight up, you still have strength which you can exert against the weight on the way down. So when you do something like this, as you finish off your repetitions, you would then hold and lower very slowly under control, again trying to build up the tension as much as you can and really feel that burn. That's example number two. Now the final example we're going to talk about today is the partial repetition. So again, as you progress towards the end of the set, you can do smaller repetitions and still have the strength to continue. So finishing up once again with your reps like so, at the end of the set you'd still be able to do a smaller range of motion, probably near the top of the range of motion. To illustrate that with the curl, again, you'd be doing this type of rep and you can do a smaller rep at the end of the set like this. Right now, the big key with this, of course, is to make sure that you complete as many reps as possible in good form before you start to throw in these set extenders. Because it's the reps that you do after reaching momentary muscle exhaustion with a good form with these set extenders will actually produce the most results for you. So I know it sounds a little bit difficult, but when you consider that, 80% of your results will come from those last 20% of repetitions that you do closest to fatigue. Throw these into your program and you will have a much more productive workout every time. This is Connor Kelly with Evolution Fitness and TransformForever.com.